Okay, next up here is to install the landing gear modules. Uh, we're going to start with these uh, little brackets here. Uh, they're going to go on both sides of the copter here, one on this side and one on the other side here. And they will be secured with M3 by 8.5 bolts. Okay, start with this side here. sure they're nice and tight. Okay, now next the landing gear modules themselves. Uh, these are directional. Um, only one side will fit on, the, uh, on one side and so forth for the other. Uh, the one with the long servo cable right here goes on the M6 boom side. And the one with the power cable goes on the M3 boom side. So there's going to be, let's see here, one, two, three bolts here, and then it'll have a carbon rod right here that slides through it. So what I like to do is put the rod through just to kind of hold it in place a little bit. There we go. And then put the bolts on. Okay. So there's one bolt right down the center of this. That is an M3 by 5.5. And you should have four of them included with your M600. right down the center there. Basically attaches the module to the copter itself. And then for the carbon rod mount points on either side here, as well as the two right here and the two right here, these are M3 by 6.5. Go ahead and straighten the rod out a little bit so it's equal on both sides there. And then tighten them up. Just make them snug. You don't have to really, really tighten them down. Just clamp it down on the rod there. install the module on the other side here and then connect up the wires and uh, then we got some booms left to go and the landing gear itself. Installation of this side is exactly the same as the other.
right, and that's the landing gear modules. You should be left with two extra M3 by 5.5s, two extra M3 by 6.5s, and two extra M3 by 8.5s. Okay, next up I'm going to make all the connections for the landing modules here. I'm going to put the cover back on the power distribution board here. Just like that, snaps into place. The pole arrows, I have those facing forward, basically where the DGI M600 logo is. This is where I have the, the uh, cover facing. Then I've got the uh, little connector coming out of here. I'm going to connect that up to the other side gender, XT30. So that's connected to the power module now. Then we have these two servo cables for the landing gear. On the other side here, I'm going to snake it kind of underneath all the wires here just to keep it out of the way and make its way over to the other other landing gear module. All right. And this can connect into the R port for the right landing gear. So the brown wire is ground, red wire is positive, and the orange wire is the signal wire. So if you're wondering which way that this plug goes in, brown to negative, red to positive, and uh, orange to signal. Same goes for the other side here. I'm just going to snake that under here and make its way to the other port. Again, brown to negative, orange to signal, just like that. All right, so you'll also notice another wire coming out of the center of the copter here. A uh, little bit different color combination. It is still red, black, but it has a yellow wire instead of an orange wire. Um, same applies here. It's still a signal wire, and it plugs into the input port on the landing gear module, and this can only plug in one way. So at this point, you should have your power connected, as well as the two servo wires for the motors and the signal wire that plugs into the module here. Uh, next up, we're going to install the booms on either side here, as well as the springs, um, connect up the antennas, and um, we'll go from there. Okay, next up, we're going to install the landing gear legs. Um, these are both the same. There is no right or left but there is a angle that these have to be installed at. So obviously you have your antenna wires going to be going down into the landing gear module like so. I'm going to just let that dangle for now. So we're going to have the antenna facing inward toward the copter, toward the center of the copter here. And these will kind of click into place. Um, they won't allow you to, to install it cockeyed or anything like that, they'll just turn and then they should just push into place here. They're notched. Okay, I'm going to do the same for the other side here. Slide the antenna down in there. Click it into place there. The bolts we're going to be using are M3 by 8 cylinder bolts here. Slightly larger tool here. And we're going to basically install these onto the clamps here. There's two at the base of each side here.
Okay. Got those snug now. Now we're going to actually grab the legs. So these just kind of fit on here like so. Just like the arms, they only go on one direction. Click into place. Just tighten them down with the same bolts. Next up, we're going to connect the antennas here. If you're wondering how to make the landing gear go up and down uh, without powering it up or anything, um, just press your thumb kind of at the joint right here, and that should free up the motor so that you're not forcing anything. So just a little push like that, like so. Okay, now the antenna wires kind of come from underneath the power distribution board and they have a shrink wrap on the cables already so just pull those back on the wire a little bit. These are just standard uh, click connections so push it on there you should feel a click like so. And then take that shrink wrap and just slink it back up over the connector there. Same for the other side. Next up, we're going to connect the springs that are included right here. Should have two springs. First, what we're going to want to do is connect it onto the cable here. Then what I like to do is take a pen and mark where the sliders, where the attachment points are from the factory, like so. And then loosen up that spring mount and slide it down the boom here and then connect the spring. Otherwise, you're just kind of fighting it, trying to get the spring to go into place, and it, uh, it's a lot easier this way to first attach the spring like so. Like that. And then slide it back up into place where it was. it back down. There. You got your first side on. Again, I'm marking the mount on the boom here. It's just pen so it can wipe right off if, when you get done with that. Again. All right. Slide it back up into place. Nice and snug. So now the landing gear has the spring assist. So I'll just lower the landing gear here and 
We'll watch it in action. Up she goes. There. This clicks into place. All right. So this concludes the bottom assembly of the copter minus attaching the gimbal mounting points. Uh, it really depends on what you're going to be using your M600 for. If it's the MX gimbal that some of them are supplied with or if you're going to attach uh, any other DJI gimbal uh, like the X3 mount setup, um, you would basically remove this rail system and attach the uh, rail system or the, uh, the mounting X3 mount point that uh, would go with the camera that you're going to put on this. Um, all right, but for now, I'm just going to flip it over and we're going to work on the GPS setup and a couple other things under the hood. <laughs>